Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 15th, 2019. So here we are halfway through January already, and still we have a tremendous amount of political uncertainty out there stirring around. Now, early this, earlier this morning when I was writing the uh, morning blog post, there was a... Um, a, a look at the futures were looking um, relatively positive, a pretty much a, a, a 100 point gap up. But since that has occurred, we have had earnings from JP Morgan. JP Morgan apparently missed on earnings and we're seeing the futures pull back pretty sharply. As of this moment, uh, futures are pretty close to flat, just very slightly positive this morning. So pretty close to flat. And here we are um, continuing to remain in this little bit of a consolidation zone. So price action staying in, in this consolidation zone. And honestly, I think there's nothing wrong with this. I think honestly, this is a good thing. This could uh, eventually serve as that launching pad to maybe move up here and attack. Let's look at the moving averages. Could, you, could be used as a launching pad to move up and attack that 50 day moving average or even the downtrend line. Now, if we look at the at the Dow itself, that move right there is about 400 points in the Dow. So it could serve as that launching point. It also could serve as the border wall <laughs> to to use a um, current uh, a current term might be a little bit sensitive to folks, but it could serve as the border wall where the bears um, up, line up here in defense, uh, trying to hold this market down and maybe push it a little bit lower. So we'll want to watch that uh, pretty closely um, as that condition continues to, to be set here. Now, this morning, a little bit of back and forth here in the futures market and now suggesting basically a flat open this morning. But we still have a lot to uh, consider uh, today. First off, we uh, obviously we're entering our 25th day of shutdown and uh, apparently there's widespread call-ins. Um, folks from TSA calling in sick today. Um, and that is um, likely um, going to make travel very difficult. And who knows what kind of a um, unintended consequence that could create. So um, obviously, we still have the uncertainty of our governmental shutdown. And then this afternoon, we have the uncertainty of the Brexit vote. The Brexit vote could be really interesting. Um, they're right now expecting that vote to fail. And um, <laughs> what they're talking about is it could fail epically, which um, brings into question a change of government possibility, a, a, a no confidence vote in um, the current uh, leaders over there. It could be um, a very interesting thing now where that could impact the market is maybe later this afternoon as that vote happens we could see some impacts to the market and really particularly because of the ramifications to currencies and what that might mean um, going forward it could be really interesting afternoon adding an additional challenge of political uncertainty uh, from you know coming from outside of the US so we'll have to watch that closely today so right now, I'm going to say, I think things are actually in pretty darn good shape. We're holding up. We're holding into this range. I don't see anything here that's suggesting, you know, um, major topsy-turviness. But we could see a little bit of, of challenging price action today um, if volatility kicks up based on that Brexit vote and, and things that are going on. So let's watch that closely. Currently, our trend is still in play. So there's nothing wrong here. Um, with this chart, just a little bit of frustration, maybe that we're we're kind of range bound. But honestly, uh, a good consolidation is is a good thing for the market right now. I think SPY. 
also kind of hanging out in this really, really tight consolidation here. Again, that could provide that launching point, that move to pop us right on up here to that 50 day and that downtrend line. Um, I think that is certainly possible. Um, it's also the place where we could get that defense coming in and we start pushing back down here to this level of support. Still, in, in that situation, I don't think that damages us um, all that much here in the market a little bit of rest um, is not a bad thing for the market in fact it could prove to be very healthy for the market if we got a little bit more rest or a little bit more consolidation let's take a look at the queues queues very much similar to that situation we did break through now the way i've drawn this uh, downtrend line um, obviously leaves out this point right up here but we've broken through that uh, downtrend area. We're pulling back. And I think as long as we stay, um, you know, above this area right in here, and even we could pull back down into this area in here, this little zone in here. And I still think we're okay um, on the queues because our overall trend um, will still remain intact. And so a um, little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback wouldn't be a problem here um, as well for the queues. Um, this could easily become that nice support place where we pop through and give that 50 day moving average a good solid test and maybe even pop through that level if we can get some energy going. Um, let's take a look at the um, IWM. IWM just a little resting pattern here right now also in consolidation breaking through that downtrend line 50-day moving average relatively close so any hold in this area could certainly set up that opportunity to pop on through and we still maintain our trend here as well let's take a look at the VIX the VIX started up a little bit yesterday on that gap down the bull stepping up to the plate and defending really hard yesterday, uh, pushing that back down. But notice we didn't make a new low here um, in the VIX. So that's giving us a little bit of a possibility that this is going to support us for price right now. And if the market does see a little bit of selling in here, we could see that pick up a little bit. But I don't know. I wouldn't want to suggest that that is a major concern, at least at the moment, at the moment until um, fear really rallies back up and we were to lift through this area. So until that occurs, um, bouncing around in here, I don't think is going to hurt us all that much. Might be a little bit of choppy price action, might be a little bit of volatility um, um, creeping back into the market because of the political events rolling out today but um nothing um serious here at least yet let's take a look at t21 22 t21 22 that four week new high in, uh, ratio i plot this on a uh, just a, a simple line chart and you can see how consistently this um, indicator works if we get clear up here, we're in that uh, bearish reversal zone where we would expect some kind of a pullback or consolidation. And we did get a little bit of pullback in that yesterday, giving us actually a little bit of room, that, that opportunity that we could pop and move higher um, is certainly here, but it's still suggesting by and large that we're a bit stretched here in the market and a little more pullback might be in order or a little bit more consolidation giving us that that uh, bit more of a rest so kind of keep an eye on that remember it's all about the price action stay focused on price action and uh, remain flexible one of the things that used to get me in trouble all the time um, in my younger days as a as a trader is i would I would overcommit to my bias. I would just want the market to go up or just simply want the market to go down. And I would overcommit to my bias and not remain flexible enough to adjust. 
so that's what I'm recommending is everyone just be a little bit cautious and 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 avoid over committing in in any direction here waiting for that price action to develop just stay focused and flexible to that price action and you should be in pretty good shape here let's take a look at our um, economic calendar our economic calendar today we have a few things that definitely could move us around we have the ppi number coming out at 8 30 so uh, an hour before the market opens ppi could also have its effect on the market today as well as empire state manufacturing which um, is uh, can move the market but likely not uh, substantially so kind of keep an eye on those two events just before the market opens today keep in mind we have some bond things going on here today um, and then we have several fed speakers this afternoon we have three fed speakers to uh, to pay attention to um, as we move along so let's watch that today on the earnings front we have about 18 companies reporting earnings we um, I I've already mentioned that we had JP Morgan report. We have WFC. Um, let's see, have they reported yet? I don't think they have reported yet. WFC um, set to report a beautiful pattern here uh, for a potential launch higher. It all depends on how they. Um, what the result is today and you can see the jp morgan um, earnings already is is giving this a little bit of pullback here um, so far this morning so let's watch um, these earnings as they come out so wfc we have um, info reporting um, this morning before the bell we have um, uh, delta airlines dal reporting before the bell today so uh, just a few things to kind of keep an eye on uh, this morning morning uh, that could move the market around just a little bit let's take a look at a few charts that I think are just really setting up nicely you know I've been mentioning um, Facebook and things like that for a while Facebook continues to show um, good signs in my opinion if we take a quick look at Facebook here you can see Facebook holding up nicely above its 50-day moving average looking strong here um, holding holding all of these moving averages in here and and looking higher um, this could easily move on up over the next few days so watch Facebook I really like this chart I think it's setting up very nicely um, and should be paid attention to um, we also have really good um, patterns in companies like um, Win resorts when holding up it did pull back yesterday but notice how our 50-day moving average all of our shorter term averages are turning higher here starting to pick up so if this can find buyers and hold on in here and we happen to catch you know buyers picking up in this area that could be a nice um, signal for entry into the very beginning of a possible uptrend here in wind so kind of keep an eye on that Las Vegas Sands would be another to, to to watch for that um, Home Depot um, let's take a look at Home Depot Home Depot is another one of those up above its 50-day moving average notice all of our move, moving averages trying to roll higher here providing that nice support level um, through this area and and as long as this support in here can hold buyers continue to push this uh, push this along this consolidation here could certainly prove to to pop to the upside and get some things mo moving so there's a lot of charts like that right now a lot of things um, to be paying attention to if you're kind of if you're into some of the uh, pot stocks um, cannabis stocks let's take a look at um, TLRY yesterday made some moves here that I think we want to pay attention to breaking notice right here breaking its downtrend um, showing us a nice little base in here and we've seen other um, pot or um, cannabis companies um, doing well like CRON moving up here testing resistance levels uh, CGC has had a tremendous spike up here so um, 
you might want to look to some of those companies. And I kind of like the pattern here in teal ROI. If this can, I'm breaking this downtrend, if this can pull back or consolidate, rest in this area and hold on, and then we would look for those buyers to step in, uh, maybe pushing that higher. So kind of keep an eye on that one. That might be a place uh, to uh, put some attention if you'd like those kind of stocks. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to um, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. It means a tremendous amount to me. So much that I try to answer every single one of those comments. Uh, is, is it possible I'll miss a few? Yes, but I really try to answer all those comments. And I want to thank you so much for that. Very important to me. You guys are awesome. Um, also, feel free to share this video with any friends and family that you might think could benefit from this information. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you a, a, a super profitable day. And I will talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Everyone take care. Have an awesome one.